good morning. Well, late morning anyway. Just out here doing a little birthday hiking. Not doing anything crazy. Just doing my my usual spammed out lake trails. I'm on the uh, I'm starting on the bluff because I want to do I want to connect a few of these little for lack of a better term side trails and uh, I'm wanting to hit them do them before there's too much more snow and that first good dump of snow we get those trails aren't gonna be worth doing even in snowshoes it's kind of brush and deadfall and whatever so I'm gonna get while the getting's good and do them now and uh, make a nice little loop out of it. Down my first hill that I need to do and now I gotta go up that hill and <laughs> as you'll soon see it's not like it's not a really wide trail it's to find though but yeah once you get a good you know start getting the heavy accumulation of snow like this is gonna be a pain in the ass to navigate uh, I mean, there's gonna be you know big collection of snow on those trees. Like I'm already having to step under and around shit. Get more snow on these trails than you know I'm eye level with a lot of the stuff I'm ducking under. <laughs> uh, yeah. So anyway, this little trail here just kind of winds and weaves its way up and around and through. Eventually, there's another couple, like a tiered descent, I guess you could say. You go down, levels out, go down some more, and then you climb up again. And where I'm getting to, it's a junction between a couple different trails and just making it part of a part of a good loop I thought of for today. So another thing that will keep me from really wanting to do these particular side trails in the deeper in the winter is uh, uh, this whole terrain becomes moose central like this is and I don't blame them it's sheltered it's off the main path uh, and shit plenty of things for them to munch on so yeah I don't want to be Rallying through here on, you know, snowshoes with a couple dogs, and then you know, run to a loose on these tight ass little trails where snow would be even deeper off to the sides. So, yeah, wouldn't be fun. Not in the very least. Thank you. 
Now we're starting to climb back up. I don't think I'm quite to the final little push to where the where I need to be quite yet, but I mean it's not like it's not like I'm climbing a mountain. I mean at any one point in time, you know, I'll lose what 100 feet, a couple hundred feet maybe. Not much. The grade is, you know, grade is a uh, hiker friendly. Let's just say. It does get a little steep here. Coming up. Uh, that's part I'm doing now. But once again, it's not like I'm doing a mountain. Just kind of rolling hills, rolling terrain over these little natural bluffs that kind of dot the area around here, surrounding all these lakes. Ooh. Oh, don't want snow down my throat, or down my throat. Down the back of my neck. Can't talk when I'm tired, I guess. Oh. Okay. Whew. Well, we've arrived at the junction I mentioned earlier. That's the direction I just came from. I'm not gonna backtrack, but you go down around the corner, it drops down the hill towards a lake called Baird Lake. And uh, it's a cool little loop that goes around through there. And then this trail over here is actually the other end of the loop recommend these uh, two lakes, Baird Lake and High Ridge Lake. And it comes back around and there's other trails to take off. But it comes back around to what you see behind me here, over here. And then this is uh, this is the way we're going to go back to basically a picnic bench. And then I'm gonna go down around some other little no-name Blake. And then uh, I'm gonna go monkeying around up another similar trail to what I just did back there. And uh, yeah, just having fun out here. Birthday hiking at its best, man. No pressure, weather's getting nice. And uh, yeah, just nice day. Awesome day. All right. Now, we're on the official Matt Newska Greenbelt trails. These are the actual marked trails. And uh, that's the way I'm gonna go. Taking this little trail that takes up to the picnic bench I wanna go to. Forgot to mention earlier, Ran to another local around here, someone who lives in the neighborhoods close to here. We got to talk and shop and sounds like we're gonna we're gonna make a pact. Try to keep some of these inner trails open with snowshoes over the course of the winter. Like he's gonna attack this end of it and I'm gonna attack the far end. But you know, knowing me, I'm gonna do like five, six, eight mile loops in my snowshoes it's just because this terrain's that easy to do and it's not you know it's not that long of a day to do so which is kind of nice but yep going down this little hill here and uh eventually it'll kind of climb we'll drop down to the left there where the girls just disappeared i climb back up to the right and then we'll be at a picnic bench. So. Alright. We 
have made it. Thank you, Ange. Take a little breather here and, uh, and then continue on the next phase of trail, which is gonna be that direction. And it backtracks a little bit and then starts to switch back in its way down towards that lake. You can kind of see through the trees there. And I'll be going around that side of it to or the next uh, game trail, access trail, connector trail, unmarked trail, whatever you want to call it. So about, not quite level with the lake, but real damn close. Uh, yeah, just uh, continuing my way on this cool, fun trail that we're doing here. And actually, what I'm really stoked about is the fact that I was following really fresh fat bike trails for a lot of it. And I was like, oh man, not that, not that I've had bad experiences running into the fat bikers back here. Matter of fact, they've all been chill. It's just, you know, I just don't want to have to worry about it, especially with these two yahoos. But they get to this lower portion here, and uh, as you can see, at least no one's been through here today. This is all last night's snow on top of these tracks. So, woo, lucky me. And yeah, I had to lose the hat. I was getting way too hot. Matter of fact, you'll see in this photo right here, uh, I had to actually take the jacket off and everything, <laughs> cool off for a minute. I was sweating way too hard. Damn this cold Alaskan blood, or I guess ultra hot Alaskan blood, whatever you want to call it. It's about 33, 34 degrees out, I think. 
maybe a little cooler. Slightly above freezing anyway. But feels refreshing. Feels nice. And uh, yeah, just continuing to have a great day on this awesome trail. Let's go down to the lake here. I'm not gonna go too far out in the middle of the lake. But this spot I was on, well, I say it like you people know. I was here a couple days ago. Ooh, almost ate shit. I was here a couple days ago and I got some pictures out here, like standing on the lake. But while it has been quite cold, and back here is a definite, definite cold sink, I'm not gonna go out into the middle of the lake. At least not yet. I'll go out. I'll go out a little ways. I think this is far enough for me. <laughs> now, if this is like January, yeah, I'd be out in the middle of that motherfucker right now. But it's not, so I'm not going to take that risk. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys the lake. Little no-name lake that this trail circles. I guess I can call it like Bear Berry Lake or something, because that's the name of the bluff. But, anywho. Onwards and upwards, literally. That trail's just right up ahead. All right. We have arrived. So when you see this junction right here, you just uh, turn yourself around 180 degrees and uh, voila, there's a trail that takes off into the woods. This is that connected trail I was talking about. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go for it. See how this goes. I don't think it'll be too bad. A couple good climbs in here, but again, like I was talking about earlier, I'm not climbing a mountain. I'm not gaining hundreds and hundreds of feet of elevation or losing hundreds and hundreds or even thousands of feet. It's just, you know, good little hills for, you know, in town hiking, I guess. Huh? As you can see, girls already did the first of these little climbs. And uh, so they're not long, they're just, they're just a little steep, you know, but, all good. Good exercise. Ooh, I'm slipping ain't shit. So I know it's at least a couple times I've mentioned that. Almost slipping and eating shit. But facing that conundrum that happens this time of year and also happens early spring, late winter, where I could use micro spikes. There's a couple spots where it's been slick enough. I could use them. But the snow on top of the shit is packable enough. It just gets packed up in the spikes. It makes them fucking useless. What do you do? Right? What do you do? Now we're on the next hill. I think this is the steepest one. Oh! Da 
walking under trees and shit. Last of the hills. Well, of these hills. Anyway. And of course, the camera doesn't convey how steep I'm going. But it's a good climb. Got a little burn in the legs right now. But. That is all she wrote for that. Now I just gotta weave my way a little bit and uh, reconnect to one of the main greenbelt trails again and uh, go into the next phase of this loop. And just like that. We have reconnected to the Greenbelt Trail. That's where I just came out of. So yeah, it's actually pretty fun going that direction. When I first discovered it, or noticed that trail, I should say, and first went down it, I literally went downhill. I went down to the lake. So it's kind of nice doing this in reverse, just see what it's like. But yeah. Sun's coming out more and more. This is looking awesome out here. Should have brought my sunglasses. <laughs> oh well. It is what it is. Get that maximum vitamin D, right? <laughs> back on the, the Long Lake Trail system. The next picnic bench. The direction we're gonna go. <sighs> Starting to feel it. Done about three and a half miles so far. Not too bad, but it's fun. It's been a lot of fun.
just past the junction for the actual Long Lake and the Long Lake Trailhead. But instead, we're going to go straight. We're going to go back towards Lake. Well, the trail is called Victor Lake, but the maps around here have it listed as Triangle Lake. So, call it what you will. It's a cool little trail that goes around a cool little lake. It's got cool little spots to check things out. So, looking forward to showing you guys. But, anyway, just continuing on this bike path of a trail here. Pretty nice. And then, uh, you can kind of see a long lake through the trees there. It is aptly named. Goes further up around the corner there. Lake, Triangle Lake, whatever lake trail. And uh, you saw in that last shot where I was panning over uh, to my uh, to my right, the hand holding the camera currently. Uh, this is the tail end of Long Lake. Like I said, it's aptly named. And then over here, start seeing through the trees. This is the aforementioned Victor Lake or Triangle Lake, as shown on some maps. And the trail takes you all the way around it. Pretty cool. It's a pretty nice trail. Girls really like it. I really like it. One of those spots where I should pull out my micro spikes, but after this, I'm not gonna need them again. So <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <sighs> just holding on to this, and it just uh, came right out.
top-notch cinematography action going on right here. Look at me go. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, you can kind of see behind me. It's a climb. The camera never makes it look right. The camera makes it look way fucking mellow. But I assure you, it is steep. If I had the right pants on, I'd probably just sit on my butt and slide down. But I don't have those kind of pants on, so. But this spot is cool. I wanted to show you guys this spot. So, uh, I don't know the name of the lake over there. It's another real small lake, you know, tucked away in this area. But uh, this lake over here, do, do, do. I'm not gonna walk out too far because I don't think this is as frozen as the other ones, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm cracking like an ice right here, so it's not very frozen at all. Anyway, that is Victor Lake. This is the lake that we're circling around right now. Yeah, let's get the fuck off of that ice. A couple more little hills like this, and then one kind of steep climb to look forward to, and that's pretty much it. And then it's flat and downhill to the car. Nice day, fun day, enjoying the day. Well, I just made the realization that my battery is just about dead on my phone. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. Try to show you one more scenic shot uh, before I close out the video. But uh, yeah, I turned it on power saving and I killed my track. So I wanna be able to finish my track and see how far this actually was. So hopefully there'll be enough juice for that. But anyway, if you watched this far, I appreciate it. Um, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you like what you see elsewhere in the channel, subscribe. All that good stuff. And uh, anyway, folks, have yourself a good one. I'm going to go finish out the rest of my birthday solo celebratory day. So have a good one, everyone.